Good afternoon. I'm student meteorologist Justin DeSaltel with the West Con Weather Team. We did have showers and rain overnight that was courtesy of the remains of what's left of Michael. But as of noon hour on the Midtown campus in Danbury, we have cleared things out nicely and there are mostly sunny skies, so get outside and enjoy it. And as of noon hour, we have a temperature of 56 degrees with a dew point of 42 and the winds are northwest at 14, but gusting up to 24 miles per hour, so it is breezy outside. Weather headlines, we are clearing and drying things out for the rest of today, so that's good news. We do have a 50-50 weekend in store, so I'll get into that in just a minute. And do we have showers returned for next week? We'll get into that in my five-day forecast. Now, as a service map, we did that, that cold front that pushed through yesterday afternoon and overnight to give us the cool-down weather today. Looking just to our south, though, here is the remains of Michael that is racing off to the north and east, and we'll get out of here later on today. And look back off to the west, we do have high pressure. Northeast visible satellite. Here is Michael still spinning out here south and east of Cape and the Islands and is racing off to the north and east, so that's great news. We'll get out of here. Looking back off to the west, we did have a cloudy morning, but those clouds have now moved off to the north and east, clearing us out with dry conditions like we saw in the picture. And look back off to the west, we do have a northwest flow bringing in that nice drier air. Northeast radar, here is that rain associated with the remnants of Michael, now pushing east. Looking back off to the west in the Danbury area, we are now nice and dry. GFS forecast model for overnight tonight, we will have those showers come in with a disturbance from the west that will push on through. And as we go into Saturday afternoon, notice that nice and quick, it pushes right on out of here. Saturday afternoon, we will be drying right back out again, so don't cancel any of those plans you have. GFS forecast model for Monday evening does show, though, that we will cloud things up Monday afternoon. We will be a little warm also. But we will have a line of showers pushing east, and that will be advance of this cold front. Once the cold front pushes through, we will dry things back out again. But coming back to tonight, we'll have a low of 49 degrees, winds northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. We will increase the clouds and bring in those showers overnight with that disturbance. On Saturday, we'll have a high of 65 degrees, west wind 5 to 10. We will have a, maybe an a.m. shower early, but then we will clear things out, mostly sunny skies with that cool temperature. Going to the five-day forecast, Sunday is the pick of the weekend. Mostly sunny skies, high of 56 degrees. But notice we do start off with a morning low of 39 degrees. So if you're heading out early, make sure you bring a jacket with you. During the day on Monday, we do cloud things up, though. Have a mostly cloudy day with a chance of showers with that cold front that I just showed before, pushing on through with a high of 60 degrees. But once the cold front pushes on through, we do clear things out on Tuesday with a mostly sunny sky, high of 55 degrees. And we do it again on Wednesday, mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the upper 50s. Meet the team at social media at WCSU Meteorology. I'm student meteorologist Justin DeSaltel. Thank you for watching.